What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have released a year in review player pick and the description says earn one of three players that were released exclusively through SBCs in Foot22 up until team of the year, not including icons, which is obviously obvious. Now the requirements, 85 rated team, a single in form, 70 chemistry. It's expensive. I'm interested to see what we can get out of this. Come on, man. What are you going to show us? What are you going to show us for the first one? Oh, a Coutinho is actually a nice one to get. I was looking at Verts like, mm, looking at Nkunku like, mm. but then a Coutinho, a Coutinho saves this player pick. Surely that's a W. I'm pretty sure Coutinho is actually going for a good amount of coins as well. I think it was like 250k, something around there. It's a good way to start this off, man. Really good way to start it off. I feel like this SBC will be L after L. Really? Hmm. I mean, getting a Coutinho out of the first one ain't too bad at all. So, listen, all right. So was a very, very underrated card. He is extremely usable. But the other two there, Edward and Gosins. Yeah, that one, that, yeah. Not great, man. Not great. So was really cheap, though. 85k for this SBC. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, it's Benny. All right. Fakir, Pedro, and Insigne. And he's gone straight for Fakir, man. Like... It's a bit meh, isn't it? It's a little bit meh. Ooh, okay, all right. That's what I like to hear, man. I did not know that. I thought he came out. I thought he came out after Team of the Year. Sule. Ooh, okay, okay. A lot of people have pushed him to a side. He is still usable because of his pace. It's just the dribbling is definitely annoying to work with. I think that's a W. I uh, yeah. I, I think I would personally take that. If I don't have Sule, I will take that. Oh, we got two. I forgot about I forgot about mentioning that. This is actually repeatable. You can do it twice. Verratti, when it came out, was very, very solid. Draxler, I think it's probably the most expensive SBC here. I'm pretty sure Jack Draxler was crazy priced. No, wasn't he like 300k or 250k? Somewhere around there. He's gone for Verratti, though. And we're getting a Bernardo Silva as well. Bernardo Silva isn't a bad one. What's a bit meh about this is the fact that we're seeing like old cards right it's like it's cards that we've seen for so long now he's giving up an icon he's giving up an 89 haji hmm interesting very in i guess if you don't use him i guess if he doesn't fit in your team then why not right throw him away but who are you gonna get for him come on make it worth it yay oh my god shakiri wants to watch dante and PK. The thing about PK is the guy can still put an attack on a half. It's just he's not as fast as the center backs we see nowadays. Don't discard him though. He's low, man. EA. You didn't have to go that low, you know. He didn't. Shakiri, really? Kula Bali, Chong, and Wilfred Zaha. That's more like it though, right? This is more like it. Like Kula Bali, still a usable card. Wilfred Zaha, definitely, definitely a usable card. Hmm, who do I go for here? Depends on my team. Like, if I've got Varane and all, obviously, I'm not going to go for Koulibaly. I'm 100% going to go for Wilfred. I'm surprised some people are doing two of these. I thought people would, you know, do one, test it out, see what they get, then do the second. Well, some people are actually full sending two straight up. PK, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Bro, the thing about this player pick is it's bringing back memories of certain SBCs that were absolutely terrible. Like, that La Liga play of the month... Yeah, let's not get into it, man. Let's not get into it. But yeah, Ramos does look very, very good. Has he opened it? He has opened it. Mertens, Banza, and Wijnaldum. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Pace on Ramos is too slow. Shadow chems on Ramos. 94 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Obviously, it's not comparable to someone like Varane, but it isn't bad. This is the David Neres and a Wilfred Taha, like... It's not bad at all. He's already got he's already got Wilfred. So yeah, you might as well go for Neres. And I'm going to do a review on it. No question about it. Even though he's like 500k plus, I'm still going to do the review. Ziyech is a solid one to get, man. Obviously, the weak foot is very, very annoying on Ziyech. That Pulisic, I'm pretty sure, is the one that's got five-star skill moves as well. I'm really looking forward to a review, Sancho. His gold card, like dribbling-wise, was disgustingly good. Politano, Pai, and Alfonso Davis. Alfonso Davis is not a bad one at all. Yeah, he's got high low work rates, which is a little bit annoying to work with, but he's a solid pull, man. A very solid pull. Nade, what have you got for us today? Have you got a player pick? I'm gonna guess that's the play. Wait. Is that it? It is it. 
because he does so many icon player picks, I you never know what he actually is because it's a complete different language. But this is a very nice, uh, very nice player pick. And Golo Kante, you guys know defensively is solid. The passing on that card though is annoying. If I if this was my player pick, I think I'm going for Enkunku or Muriel. But I think Enkunku because of the links, yeah. It's him being French and all, I think he'll be easier to fit in the team. Seeing a Daco into wildcard now is like. I don't know. It's a bit meh because obviously the future stars has four star skill moves. Pedro, Pato, and Alfonso Davis once again. Yeah, he didn't even think about it. He went straight for Davis. Check Twitter. Nah, I'm not checking Twitter now because I know what's going to happen. I jump onto Twitter, someone's pulled something crazy, and then I'm just going to get jealous because we're not seeing that player in these player picks. Like, that's five star weak foot Pulisic, right? And that is five star weak foot Pulisic. Pandev, Galino. I. But who do you even go for? Do you just go for fodder? Am I controlling this one? I don't think I am. Come on, man. EA. Give us something good. Pulisic, Parejo, and yeah. <sighs> every single one outdated. Every, every single one outdated. A player of the month CR7 or Salah would be amazing right now. Genuinely amazing. Please. Klaus. Klaus is a very good one to get. I still use him in my team. I still love him. He's a, he's a pace merchant, let's say. He's just extremely, extremely quick. No one can outpace this guy. He catches up to Mbappe. He catches up to Vinny. And we are definitely going to count that as a W. Who's actually been the best pull today? Alfonso Davis, I mean, twice is a very good pull, right? Alfonso Davis is definitely still usable. Like, he's a very solid card still. This guy's doing a little, a little glitch, is that? Hmm. Let me let me find out. Let me find out. Glitch, by the way. I mean, Coutinho is a good pull. He is a good pull. And this is what I mean. Like, this player pick just feels so outdated, doesn't it? It feels so meh. Untradeable. I have a feeling. It's just a feeling, you know, that you got him out of a certain icon player pick. Hmm. Interesting. I did that icon player pick yesterday. I don't want to talk about it, you know. I do not want to talk about it. Gosens, Benzema, and Parejo. The issue, the thing is, right, this Benzema card is like, it's just the pace, isn't it? The pace is just not good enough in that striker position. And the agility as well. I actually forgot. He has 82 agility on the play of the month. I'm pretty sure he's got more on the, on the flashback card, right? I'm pretty sure he does. 91 overall, though. You go for fodder, right? I kind of would like them to give the people that didn't get an icon moments another player pick because I am obviously one of them, you know? I don't mind myself uh, another icon player pick. I already want, wouldn't mind it. Getting a Nakata. Yeah, Nakata, welcome to the club. I had to welcome him once already. He's baby card. Was it his baby or mid? I can't remember. Simeone, Insigne, and another ZH. See, this is what I mean. Like, ZH ain't a terrible one to get. It's just like, it's the two-star weak foot that really, really hurts his card. He's got two. He has got two. Is the second person, right, that we've seen do two? Let me see what's up. Nakamura. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, it, yeah, it's an L either way, right? Insigne, I guess. You have to keep in mind, that's a numbers up card. That can get a further upgrade. So, yeah, that's what I would go for. Yeah, he's gone for it. Understandable. Makes sense. What, what gets upgraded? Pace. I'm pretty sure it is Pace that gets upgraded on that Insigne. So, eventually, you'll have 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Next one. <laughs> Another Nakamura, like, oh, what's up with this? You go for Chong. You go for Chong. Oh, Sandro's dynamic actually looks pretty good. Oh, okay, okay. All right, EA. I see you with that dynamic image is. Not bad. Mares. We haven't... Uh, this is the... F uh, no. First or second time? It might be the first. But at the same time, I kind of remember, remember him popping up again. Either way, it doesn't matter. Mares, very nice pull. Very, very nice pull. Obviously, he has got a better card. He's got the road to the final card, but I don't think you can complain with this uh, flashback card. Is this another two? It might be. I saw the number two. No, it's not. Wait. Yeah, it's it. Well, I mean, he's already opened one, okay? Let's see what you get to the other one. Um, Titi out the first one, really? And a Ziyech out of the second one. I, I said it multiple times. Ziyech ain't a bad one to get at all. You could go for a headliner if you really want to, but I'll be honest to you. I would personally go for Ziyech. I, I'm, I was kind of hoping for like a, you know, a Vinny, a, a Ronaldo, a Salah. We haven't seen any of those. Trent and Alfonso Davis. Okay. I mean, we haven't seen Trent and I don't think we've actually seen Talishka either. It's just, even though those two are higher rated, 
I'll be honest, I'm still going for Alfonso Davis. Ramos tax. I'm telling you guys that if he didn't play for PSG and if he wasn't Ramos, 560k? Yeah, it ain't it, man. It ain't it. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know, right? In-game, he might be an absolute beast. Pandev, Benzema, and Bernardo Silva. Benzema is obviously a nice pull, but he has gone for Bernardo Silva. All right. He didn't even like... He didn't even take a second, you know? He just... Screw it. Going for Bernardo. Verratti, Nkunku, and Ziyech again. We're getting Ziyech so often. And yeah, he's picked him as well. So a Ziyech and a Bernardo Silva. Open it when you're ready, man. Good luck. Hopefully you do get a Salah. Hopefully you do get a CR7. Or even a Vinny. The Licked. A Tebow and Alfonso Davis. This is actually a really good player, Vic. Surprisingly, this is a very good player, Vic. Messi's GOAT is his ultimate team name. Interesting. Are you... It, it, push him into the transfer list. Huh. Remember when this card came out? This card was an absolute beast. The way this guy would put in tackles was crazy, crazy good. Uh, You haven't even got yourself like some nice fodder. It's not like you got a player of the month trend, right? <laughs> like, who do you even go for? This guy had a player of the month Salah on the bench, though. I did see that. So, if we get Salah for this guy, it would be very typical. It's like what EA do, you know? Oh my god, and we get a Finney. <laughs> Are you? He's already got him. Like, I mean, you go for him because of the rating, right? You go for him because of the rating. But like, are you serious? Getting a player amount of Vinny for someone that's already got him. <sighs> did he have him in the starting eleven? I don't think he did, right? As that's the best pull we've had today. One hundred percent, though. You got five hundred and sixty-one coins. You're down bad. You're down really bad. Come on. No way, no. <sighs> Play the month Benzema. You keep popping up, don't you? He's starting to pop up way, way too often now. Uh, Muller is actually a player we haven't seen today. The issue with this Muller card is the fact there was so many issues of him. You know, like, he's passing ain't anything great. He's got three star skill moves. Then his shot power's low. His long shots are low. His physicals aren't that great. You know, th there's just so many issues. There's so many, so many issues with this Muller card that you can't fix it with a chem style. I can't see Ramos being better than Varane. I'll say that straight up. Even though I haven't reviewed the card yet, I just can't see it happening, you know? But at the same time, Hala, Boateng. This is just a bit meh, isn't it? It's just a bit meh. And then PK is like, he hasn't got anything outstanding with the pace, has he? You gonna do Ramos all zero? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I mean, I asked that question at least like 30 times this stream. Shakiri, N'Golo Kante, PK, another player we see over and over and over again. It, it's just a little bit suspicious how they are, you know, giving away PK a lot. Hmm. They're like, yes, you make PK's uh, weight, your pack weight, quite high. So people go for PK and then they do the Ramos. That's what, you know, you have to think about it like that. EA, EA are actually using their IQ right now. We see PK too often, way too often. I do want to pick up a moment's say Desai though. A moment's Desai. I really want to try out that card. He just looks so good. So, so good. Coutinho, Condogbia, and uh, Eredivisie player of the month. Hey, yeah, I'll go for Coutinho. You, you don't want to go. Condogbia is a nice like, defensive uh, midfielder. He is. It's just, you know, he ain't anything crazy, I would say. I, w I think I would go for Coutinho. Come on, man. That would a chance to get yourself a Salah. But also double the chance of getting yourself a PK. You know? PK in the first one? Surprisingly not. Coutinho, Mares, and Lucas Paquel. Obviously, Lucas Paquel, you kind of push to a side. Or are you not going to push him to a side? I would put... Mm, yeah, I would push that Lucas. I would, I would definitely go for Mares or Coutinho. Now, which one? He really wants to go for Lucas, doesn't he? I think I would probably go for Coutinho because, yeah, links-wise, it's a little bit easier. With Mares, you're pretty much, like, forced to have uh, a City link somewhere. With Coutinho, it's a bit easier. Oh, okay. And you get yourself a Klaus as well. Klaus or Ziyech? We've actually seen a few people do two today. We haven't seen you pop up once. I've completely... I'm going to be honest. I completely forgot... He actually got an SBC. I'm pretty sure... This is this is the card that came out on Friday, right? I'm pretty sure he came out on Friday. He's already got David Neres. So, you might just want to go for the 87 overall, right? Please. 
play a month in. We've seen it once. Let's see it again, man. Let's see it again. I mean, a Fofana. We all know his Fofana is nice to get. It's just he's already got him. So, like, none of this is a W for him, you know? None of it. 